Hey guys, welcome back to the new Abyss Tech setup. After getting recently moved to Florida and getting internet back in December, uh, I do apologize that there's been a major lack of video content because I've been having to deal with a lot of mental medical problems with my depression, anxiety, and all sorts, and also basically getting moved and situated and getting some of the equipment that I had replaced. But anyway, um. I want to go over the full setup of the 2016 of my setup right here is my main work center and all that but I want to give you a uh, phone length detail of what my entire setup is and some of the stuff you might see is pretty familiar but anyway let's get a start I've got my tripod all here. right so right here is my uh full-on work center here which was basically the uh, strong core of the Abyss Tech setup. So right over here I have a uh, Dell 19 inch monitor. I can't remember what the exact number, what the exact thing was. Yeah, go ahead and focus in on that. But this is my uh, secondary monitor which I often use for video editing and all that. And then there's my laptop with a uh, piece of paper with phone numbers on it. This is a uh, Acer Aspire E5-551-T375 laptop which has a AMD A10 as you can tell right basically there where the camera is, camera is focusing right here is my uh, coffee cup my hard drive dock which I got on I think it was Amazon it was one of those uh, Chinese ones down here I have a uh, Sente gaming mouse pad my Sente Revolution Pro SP which I did a video review on earlier last year then my uh, Sente, um, what was it? It was a Sente Phoenix gaming keyboard, which I did a review of on this. And of course, I hit the space bar. Then up there, I have my Sente Harmonic Pro headphones, which I use a lot for my gaming. Behind there is, get the camera to focus. But... Right there is my desk calendar for January, safety vests. Show you where I have my. So, right here I have my little bottle opener, which I used to open my beers with. Down here is where I have my wallet. Right here is basically the area that me and my mom share between all that. I basically have the top shelf claimed. So moving on to underneath my desk area. By the way, I actually made this desk by hand. I just grabbed a 2x4, basically cut them in half, found a piece of plywood that was left over from the uh, construction of the shed, which is outside. There I am. Now underneath here, I, this is where I keep my uh, tools and all that. This is my main tool box. This is the knife I used to, which I'm going to start using if I can get the dang thing to open. But right here is where I usually keep spare parts of my bike, all the stuff for the my drills, uh, this box which I like to keep hard drives and batteries in, back there is the uh, toolkit that I got a while ago, and of course my tape measure. Then over there I basically keep my backpack and some other miscellaneous then boxes. over here is basically my uh, server side setup, which basically powers my main work and all that, but let's go ahead and start with the uh, top here. So right there is a Microtech C593 15 inch monitor with a maximum resolution of 1024 by 768. I got this for 20 bucks on eBay, but there's no speakers built in. Nor does it have a uh, input for the speakers. And right here is a uh, Keytronic mouse and keyboard combo, which I got on eBay, basically brand new. The printer that I have right next here is the uh, Kodak ESP 3.2. It is capable of Wi-Fi printing, Google Cloud Print, which I use very often. And right here is a business card holder, a uh, pillbox, which I keep my. Uh, All right, flashlight. down here is what basically powers my operation. And move this back a little bit, but. All right, so right here is the good old Devil Dimension XPX Gen 4. I can prove it to you if I bring it up close, personal. 
focus in. Yeah, Dell Dimension XPX Gen 4 is... This so far, it's actually been doing pretty good. It actually runs a couple of different things. Get my tripod all fixed here. And refocus. But anyway, this computer has been through a lot after having to figure out what the heck was going on with it initially. And it turns out it was just some bad RAM. And I'm thinking one of the DIMMs might be bad, but I'm not entirely sure. And it's also missing its uh, door, so it kind of looks a little ugly. But I had the LED set for green because of, you know, Christmas. But it's been a good system so far. Then next door right here is my Dell Dimension E300, which both these systems are Pentium 4 system stock at 775. I want to try upgrading them to Core 2 Duos, but I don't know if they would support it or not. But anyway, this right here is the uh, main router that I use with a um, software called PFSense. And PFSense is basically a operating system based off of FreeBSD, but made specifically for routers, so you can turn other old desktops into routers. And it's been a good system so far as well, because it was it's a big step up and Without having a Pentium 4 at 2.8 gigahertz, it seems to do everything I need it to do. It can be a little stubborn and all that, but it's got a uh, 80 gig hard drive. Just my tripod again. But you can tell it's been through some wear and tear, and I gotta get a new front panel. And let me turn my. Alright, so right there, I. Got to get the uh, USB port replace, USB ports replaced, and front panel replaced because the drive covers aren't staying in like they were supposed to. And then back there is basically my uh, TP Link TL SG 1008SD or whatever it was. It's a gigabit switch, eight port at that, which basically cost me about 15 or so on uh, Amazon when I did my network overhaul after getting out of the uh, hospital back in September of last year. And then this right here is a, a cheap four-port Chinese KVM switch. It doesn't seem to like Linux very much, apparently. And then uh, back there, hold on, let me see if I can get my phone back there for you so you can see. Put my tripod away. But back there is the... Uh, RS, let me get that focused in for you. It's a RS TG 1672 on wheel cable modem, which I'm, which I have from my ISP, which is Bright House, but I'm not too keen on all in one, so it basically is running in a bridge mode because seems that you know, I have a router right here, which I'm surprised Bright House is familiar with PF Sense and all that, but it's. It works pretty decent for uh, all-in-one, but I just don't like ISP-issued equipment, which that will be probably be getting replaced with a uh, Motorola Surfboard 6121. All right, let's go ahead and continue on. Turn the LED off to save on my battery. But the, my uh, camera that I'm using to record with is actually from my cell phone, which is a uh, Asus Zenfone 2. All right, let's go ahead and continue on. So right there is basically my setup there. So I got a Hess motorcycle, a Darth Vader ornament, Star Wars from the new, it's a Star Wars four-piece glass set with uh, Kylo Ren, a Stormtrooper, Ray, and Finn. Then a Hess gasoline diesel truck that's been through hell. A random coin pouch, flash truck. Why would I call a tissue a flash drive, people? Remember, always have tissues nearby in case you need to clean thermal paste. A zip tie, a Tootsie Roll container which is full of loose change. Two of my um, grandfather's old clocks, I would actually like to uh, get this all restored and back in working condition. Then over there is where I have uh, miscell miscellaneous things of um, games, which I can actually show you right now. Just let me deploy my tripod. I can't zoom in here. That's better. But this is a uh, culture beat by uh, Serenity right here. 
turn my light back on so get better relating. Now I have the Dukes of Hazards game for PS1, which my PS2 is actually sitting in a tote outside right now. now I got the Yu-Gi-Oh! Forgotten Memories. Uh, hold on, turn my flash off here. But it's a Yu-Gi-Oh! Forgotten Memories game for PS1. This is the uh, Crisis Maximum Edition, which has Crisis, Crisis, Crisis War Hidden, Crisis Wars. I got American Pickers for PC. I got to pick that up. And this is a, uh, looks like a Lost in Town bomb. I got at one of the uh, thrift stores. The CD was cracked. Never got my refund on it, but I only pay like a buck. Then, uh, Bionic game for uh, PS2. I will probably do a Let's Play series on that later on. But Tire Hero Legends of Rock. Ice Age 2 The Meltdown for PS2. Star Trek Into Darkness, which is a movie. A Christmas Romance. Uh, Eddie Murphy, Daddy Daycare, and Daddy Day Camp. And then uh, Steve Austin Damage. Go ahead and put all that back. Hoping I don't knock every single thing over my own. But thank God for the magic of video editing. Oh yeah, and the uh, random thing of uh, chapstick. I pop when I was up in New York State because my lips were pretty well chapped. Alright. So in case you wonder what I use for my wireless access point, it is a Ubiquity Unify AP. It's basically a, the most basic model for $65 on Amazon. It supports 2.4 gigahertz and uh, up to 300 megabit per second connections. Up here is a uh, like a random hook that I have, my hat, and a uh, little necklace that I bought my mom back in uh, 2009 for uh, from a Bush Gardens trip. Then up in this cabinet, I have basically all my cords, loose parts. And it sounds like they are home. But anyway. Up, it's where I basically keep all my stuff, network cables, sinkers for when I go fishing. Uh, this is where I keep my network tester in. Then the TP box is where I keep all my uh, networking cable tools that I make. Right there I keep my two pairs of Bluetooth headphones. These ones are the Knievo BTH240s and those are the Soundbot SB240s. They basically have the same, they can even are just more comfortable. And on this side is basically nothing but a container of screws and my old phone and some keys for my keyboard and a spark wrench. So I hope you enjoyed this 2016 setup tour and all that. So don't forget to rate and subscribe to the Abyss Tech YouTube channel if you're into tech. And my gaming channel, which is called This Gaming. And also, follow us on Twitter and Facebook. The links will be down in the description below. Anyways, you all have a good day.